All right, what's up, YouTube? Uh, so I just spent my whole morning um, pulling my hair out, trying to figure out how to get the Big Gimpin plugin installed on a Mac. I was following all the tutorials that I saw, and it wasn't working. All the tutorials out there that I could find um, were for PC users, and installing this on Mac has an extra step that PC users don't have to to you to do, um, and so. In my frustration, I, I reached out on some different threads in Facebook, and I was super fortunate to run into a guy named Mike from Florida, who was uh, super generous with his time. And this was at seven o'clock this morning, and he, you know, he messaged me, "Hey, are you available for a video call?" I said, "Yeah, let's do it." And he he jumped right on video call and and helped walk me through this. Um, and he got help because he was in the same boat as me. Um, he got help from a girl named Rebecca. So sh big shout out to M Rebecca and Mike because without them, I wouldn't have been able to figure this out. And I'm making this video to hope to save other Mac users who are downloading this plugin from going through the, all the headache that I just had to go through. Um, so let's jump into this. Uh, so first thing, I'm assuming that you have the latest version of GIMP already installed. Okay, if not, go do that. Um, and for those who are curious, I am running Big Sur 11.1 .1 at this time. Uh, so uh, you already got, I'm assuming that you already have the latest version of GIMP. I'm also assuming that you have the Big GIMP and plugin, which I have here on my des desktop. Um, it comes with two, like uh, version three and also this one. Um, and I'm assuming that uh, you've already paid the $30 and you've downloaded those zip files and unzipped them. Okay, so that's where we're starting. So here we go. Um, so you want to go to GIMP. You want to go right up here where it says GIMP 2.10. You want to go to Preferences. Uh, then you're going to go down here on the left where it says Folders. You're going to click the plus button. You're going to scroll down to Plugins. Click Plugins. Now, all the PC tutorials, they use this top one right here. Um, but on Macs, you got to use this bottom one, the one that starts with applications and ends with plugins. Um, and you're going to click this file cabinet. Click the filing cabinet. Brings up four folders. Um, you want to go into plugins right here. Double click plugins. And as you can see, I've already dragged the big Gimpin files in here. Um, but if you haven't, so you go to the the big gimpin that you know your download um, and you can see right here the big gimpin uh, script you're gonna drag this over here like that um, then the second one drag and drop that you could also copy and paste and then you're gonna go here version 3 get out of there move um, you're gonna go to this v3 one right here you're gonna drag that in or you could again you could copy and paste okay so you drag those in there, okay? And on the PC versions, the PC tutorials, this is where they kind of end it. They just, they restart GIMP and it, and it works. And on Mac, that doesn't work. There's an extra step and that extra step was super frustrating to figure out, okay? Here's what the extra step is. After you've dragged uh, those files in here, go back and in the plugins folder, you're gonna right click or if you're on a laptop, like a two finger click, you know, click two fingers so you pull up this and you're gonna to go to new terminal at folder. Go there. Okay, and it brings up this. And right here, at where it's, after it says your name and a dollar sign, this is what you're gonna type. C-H-M-O-D space plus X space duh underscore big underscore Gimpin G I M P I N with no G after it just Gimpin underscore script S C R I P T underscore V three dot P Y. Okay, so type that in exactly and when you get to this point hit enter or on a Mac uh, I guess it's return. So you're gonna hit return um, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, and I don't know if doing it a second time 
is good or bad. I really don't know, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, but that's what you do. You hit enter. And once you hit enter and you run this terminal, then you close, uh, close out everything, close GIMP, and you restart it. And when you restart it, it should be right there at the top. Um, so that was a big headache for me this morning. I spent my whole morning doing it, and I hope that this video can uh, save you guys some time and stress, and I hope it works for you. Um, again, shout out to Rebecca and Mike. Without them, I wouldn't have been able to figure this out. Thanks so much. Peace.